They do make a scene for a test, don't they? Mike, what's up? Sure. See ya. So back to the hotel now. <laughs> We're gonna make the Facebook live in about 20 minutes. Today in Czech, tomorrow in English. But honestly, I'm really exhausted. Just found out we have three tires left for tomorrow. So uh, tomorrow will be a really busy day, but just for, uh, probably just for the morning, or it will be called the morning, till yeah. like 12 or one o'clock. And after that, we just pick up and uh, go to Bangkok. And next day, six o'clock in the morning, we are taking off to go to Jakarta yes. to, meet, to meet my new sponsor. So just leaving the car park now. So what are your thoughts on today? You know, today was a very difficult day. Uh, it was really hot. The track temperature was again raising up to 65 degrees Celsius. So it was really, really hot. And we were kind of struggling. We are having some issues that are pretty difficult to uh, to resolve but we are working on it i'm really doing my best my team is working really hard and i believe we will find one solution for tomorrow morning because that's the last day of uh high test yeah well anyway um so what are we going to do next are we just gonna see each other back at the hotel or well as i said we are going to do facebook live right now in about 10 minutes 15 minutes or so sweet right see you back in a second <laughs> disappointed I'm not not happy about uh, how it went well actually the first day was pretty good but the second and especially the third day we were struggling a lot and we were trying many things we had a, we had a little issues that we had to fix uh, a little bit with tire a little bit with the I say engine but it was not exactly the engine but we had an issue with the, with the fuel because <clears throat> we were riding so much that we literally ran out of fuel so yeah anyway we were struggling it was not good i'm not i'm not happy and i'm leaving thailand a bit disappointed so i'm looking forward for the for the next one in qatar and we definitely have to improve a lot to uh, make a nice lap time nice position and uh, to enter the season with the with a better mood than i am right now now secondly in the previous vlog we uh, actually said that if people had any questions they could drop them in the comments so let me just grab the phone well the first question is actually quite an easy one or a short uh, short question the question is by racecroft he said very simply do you like the new track i do like it but it is not that new for me i i uh, was riding here already about two years ago with the world superbikes so yes i do like this racetrack and that's even that, that makes me even more disappointed about the result because i think that this kind of a racetrack should uh, suit me very well. Yeah, okay, bit of an addition to the question from my side. What's what, like? What's your favorite bit? Because I can imagine that the last corner is still a bit tricky because it's so tight. Well, overall, I do like fast corners. I do not like that much uh, slow corners. So, so yeah, that's probably the answer for the question. It's, it doesn't apply just to, just to this circuit, but all around the world. Right. Next question by by I'll put the question in the on screen because I can't really uh, pronounce this. He asks, he or she asks, um, what about the new fairing? Will you get those? Looks like not. We are working on it right now, but at the moment, like we won't be able to use uh, the new fairing. Okay. Next question is by the Kriegsman or the Kriegsman. Uh, jet lag must be a huge issue. To me, uh, it seems riders fly out too close to the race or test. Is that true in your opinion? Uh, well, I suffer from jet lag quite a lot. So I do agree that jet lag is, uh, is really a horrible thing. You know, like we did a little trip in, uh, to Laos, I, I didn't really, it was not my dream to go to Laos to visit that place. I mean, it was amazing to do it, but I did it simply because I wanted to arrive to this time zone a bit, uh, bit earlier to yeah. get used to it. 
Well, yeah, I mean, it's, I think also, you know, there's a difference between everyone. Uh, like, I'm not a rider, but for me, when, when we fly east, I don't have any jet lag. But for me going west, I do, but only for a day. Unfortunately, you are uh, heavily affected by it, and you take out the time to travel earlier. Because a lot of the riders, they actually arrive on a Wednesday or on Tuesday, whilst we are... Yeah, a lot of riders arrive really late, but, you know, I'm suffering from a jet, like, uh, traveling east, uh, but traveling west is usually not a problem. Um, this question is by Sean Morrison. He's from Calgary. Um, do you think this track will produce uh, an entertaining race for the fans? Uh, a lot of are there a lot of passing spots, fast straights, and also after one day? So because this is an old question, uh, do you think any manufacturer uh, manufacturer's bike is suited for this track more than another? So is there? Do you think uh, a bike that would stand out at this uh, track? Normally I would say that this should fit quite well Ducati, but it was not confirmed during these tests. Anyway, I think it will be a really interesting race for both uh, the viewers, the people who are uh, watching watching on the TV, and for the visitors or for, for the spectators that will come over to visit us here uh, in Thailand. So, so that's the end of uh, the viewers' questions. Yes, I'm really happy for your questions, thank you very much, and if you have any other questions, just uh, drop them down in the comments below the video, and we'll try to answer most of them, or all, of, all of them, I'm not sure if on the video, but definitely we'll, uh, we'll get back to you at least in the, in the comments section. Now we've got like 270 kilometers left to Bangkok, where we'll, we're gonna have a dinner and a nice sleep, well actually not that nice sleep, because we gotta wake up like 4 o'clock in the morning, so... Yes. <laughs> some sleep. Look at that sunshine by the way right now. That is what I was hoping for. Too late. But no. Got it. Beautiful. Right. Let's uh, continue this uh, little road trip. For you. I gotta say it was uh, one of the worst ways that I have taken recently. The traffic was just horrible and it was so long, 360 kilometers and it took us over six hours. And after after three days of riding it was just really exhausting. Yeah I can understand. But to be fair I'm my trip was alright. Yeah. yeah I'm glad your travel was okay. Yeah. I'm really hungry, I'm tired and tomorrow we gotta wake up five o'clock in the morning so I'll better set the alarm right now. Are we going to show them dinner or are we going to say that we'll see them tomorrow? You know what guys, uh, I'm gonna have a quick dinner, shower and sleep. Uh, thanks for watching again. Let me know how you liked the video uh, in the comments. Ask me any questions, I'll be really happy to answer them. And I'll actually see you in the next vlog. So I guess this is the end, right? Yes, that was the end. Right. Okay, good, uh, good night. Bye. Ciao. Night.